movements. Oh wait, that's a ton of- Run! Oh, he can see us now, it's too late. We have to stay and learn to paint. There's no other choice. We just have to serve him. Welcome, Tabletop World Collectors and Painters. Today, I am doing the build and paint of the mansion. This is the 28mm version. I'll let you have a little 360. I got myself one of these little turntables, which really helps to show you off, show off the miniature. So once this is done a 360, I will show you the insides of the building. Look at all those windows. <laughs> yes. It's these these miniatures take so long to paint. Uh, there's so much detail on them. Um, it really has been a lot of work to try and get this done. Um, it's been a lot of fun so far, but it, it takes up so much time. Um, but these miniatures are so detailed, and that is a good sign of good quality. So there we are. I'll stop this now, and I'll show you what the insides look like. Okay, so let's see what bits come off. Well, here we have the turret. This one comes off. Um, it's all wood all the way up inside. Um, they really do not think how to make life easy for a painter with these miniatures, that's for sure. Um, okay. And the roof, again, okay, fully wood wooded inside and out. And we have the next part. Again, lots of nice wood. And once again, and the last one, which is my favourite, which is the stonework floors. Now, just again, I'll give you a quick example of the scale of these miniatures. Um, as you can see, this is a um, 28mm miniature, uh, and it doesn't quite fit inside the inside the building. So if you do have miniatures, be careful if you're putting the miniature back to the model back together. You're going to crush your miniatures. <laughs> um, they are doing larger scale versions, um, and remember this one has got a small base on it as well. But um, certain figures could be damaged if you put it together and forget your miniatures are in there so there we are what i'll do is i'll get this all painted up and i'll come back and show you the finished miniature okay my mansion is all finished i'm just going to show you the insides and then i'll do a 360 of the outside of the building so we've got all the interiors done and i have to say some parts were really really difficult this is not an easy miniature to paint and get your paint brushes inside um, certain places like inside there for example all the way down um, it's not recommended for a beginner these miniatures because um, you are spending a lot of a lot of money on these miniatures and it would be heartbreaking to ruin them uh, with your painting skills if you can't um, get the job done to how you'd like it now I really struggled to get into all the little nooks and crannies because you can't get your paintbrush in there and what I do is I actually snap a paintbrush in half so I can go in like so. Um, oh, the detail is perfect, absolutely beautiful but I'm not trying to put you off buying these miniatures I'm just saying it is very difficult to get into some places I mean like so look at that right down the bottom there. Um, painting the windows I've just done them black um, mainly because of the outside of the windows it's nighttime effect so you can get away with having a black inside and it does work um, so what I'll do now is I will give you a 360 of the actual finished building from the outside so here is the finished miniature absolutely gorgeous um, came out fantastic um, as you can see I added uh, all the window panes um, <laughs> which was a pain 
it was um, a very difficult t t job to get all those little windows done um, and it takes a very long time uh, but I'm very happy how it came out this is a fantastic uh, miniature and it will look fantastic on anybody's tabletop so there we are this is the mansion um, I've still got many more to do in the, the series to paint and um, I will be back very shortly with a new video on my next Tabletop World paint. So if you enjoy what I'm doing, then please hit that subscribe button. If you want to support the channel, then please become a patron. All patrons are added to the end credits of all my videos. So, until next time.